Oh, yeah, okay, I got it. Okay. And the uh, first item of business is uh, the minutes of December 13th. Cindy, I had a couple things. Okay. Um, in the people that were present, you say Sophie Jensen, and then beneath that two lines, you say Sylvie Jensen. So I think it's... Sylvie. It's Sylvie, that's my error. Okay. Yep, yep. And then if you drop down to under director's report, the next to the last... Um, bullet point the what, my, one about the postcard yeah my in the last sentence there says will increase fy25 electrical progress by 10 percent t is i don't oh, know that's because i got ahead of myself as i was thinking and typing okay so to yeah, show to period. reflect increase is what i was okay so maybe, my head. so maybe you're gonna say to reflect increase yeah so i will make those corrections Okay, wait, I'm not done. I think. Yeah, and then when you say bike rack has been installed, it's actually a um, bicycle repair station. Okay. It's not a bike rack. So who owns that station? Is it is that the town or the library or who? Well, it, 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 the, the town owns the library, so I guess ultimately the town owns the station. We're not, library is not responsible for it, are, are we? Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I've never asked who's responsible for the bike rack or who's responsible for, I would assume that ultimately uh, it's our responsibility, but I, since it was installed on a grant and stuff, I don't believe that we have a financial obligation. Uh, I think that the, somehow or other the town where they established those in several locations are going to maintain them. So I'm hoping well, anyway. But but just say it gets vandalized. Is that up to the town to repair it? I would assume then, right? Well, I guess we're, we'll find out if that ever happens. It happens, yeah. Okay. Is there anything else about the minutes that anyone has a comment on? If not, I'll accept a motion to accept. I'll make a motion. Is okay. there a second? Okay, Sorry. and we need a roll call because it's uh, we're online here. Fred? Yes. Deborah? Yes. George? Yes. And I vote yes. Okay, the minutes are done. So uh, financial report, uh, Jim is, uh, is, is on the mend, slowly but surely. So we do not have a financial report per se. However, Cindy did um, a little research for me today and sent me an email earlier our FY24 budget was 85505 of which we have spent 452254 so we're on track to do fine because um we only have five and a half months left um so i think we're i think we're okay and when jim is um on the men we can we can look more closely at things i don't think the um those uh trust accounts and stuff have changed at all um with the possible exception of some interest that has accrued uh any any questions or concerns about financial? Okay, then we'll go to director's report. Cindy, it's all yours. All right, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I did send out information letting the board know that I did submit our budget, um, and it's just an increase of 7% from FY24, and that is mostly due to the fact that there's been rate increases with Comcast, Eversource, and I also, um, per request and suggestion of the board, increase the maintenance. Um, today I attended my first training for what the Aspen um, is. Aspen is taking over the patron catalog starting in March and I attended my first training today to try to get some more information about it. And apparently from what I've, there's four trainings all together. So this was the one of four. Um, it's going to be much more user friendly on the patron end. You'll be able to go log in using your CW Mars credentials because it will still be attached to CW Mars, but you'll be able to customize your searches. So if there's certain books that you're not looking for, you can automatically, you know, have those removed as suggested items. You can create a list of books that you'd like to read so you know, or books that you've read so that you know what you read, what you haven't read. Um, it gives an actual sort of little blurb description of what a summary of what the actual book or DVD is, whereas now we don't have that. 
Um, there's also ways that depending upon how much we want to, we can tweak it um, to have it be very specific to Waitley or keep it generalized to um, sort of just the generic one that they have now. There's a place that we, we can put in our holidays that we're going to be open or closed. Um, so it's going to it's going to take a little bit to get it all the tweaks figured out. But I think once it's up and going and we're comfortable with it, it's going to be a positive. Good. And then um, just a few things that have come up since I did send out my report. Um, we have undertaken, Allison, Kim, and I have undertaken doing an inventory of the collection. So we have reports uh, broken down by young adult, adult, juvenile, and we're going through and shelf reading to see what's actually on the shelf. If something's missing, we're you know, marking so we know that something's missing. So ultimately, we're doing this so that we can decide, OK, what's missing? Is it something that is really missing? Has it been just misshelved? If it really is missing, do we want to replace it? Or is it something that there's enough copy somewhere else we really don't need to have it? And ultimately, we're just going to be able to clean up the catalog. So if they won't show missing or lost items, it'll just show it if we have it available. Um, so that's going to take a few months. We've just started it, um, but it's going good so far. And then yesterday when I went into the library, the plumbers were there and they installed in both bathrooms our on-demand hot water heaters and in the little bathroom, the new sink. Wow. So right. those, our bathrooms are now completely done. We have the accessibility, we have the hot water, we have new lighting. Um, I guess the only, so we're, those are installed. And then um, yesterday, Sheila did come in and we sat down and we set, we went as far as we could go with setting up the friend's PayPal account. In order to actually get the donate now button onto the website, it's an HTML code, but I have certain um, administrative privileges being the department head director of the library, but this is beyond what my administrative privileges will allow me to do. So the information has been forwarded to Jessica Murphy at town offices, and she's going to work on putting that code in. So the donate now button will show up on the library page of the town website. You click on it, it will take you to, you know, donate by PayPal and then automatically deposit for them to put into their um, account. The friends account. Yes, the friends account. And all that, all those steps have been done. It's just the HTML code was beyond my capabilities. Sure. Well, that sounds good. That's that's fast. That's good. Yes. And uh, it may put us in um, a place where we can actually do something for Library Giving Day in April. Yes. If that's up and running. It and, should be because Jessica was working on it today. So Right. Well, we just got to make sure we got a friends group up and running. I know that Sheila's working very hard on that now. Yes. Um, so uh, I think things are, are looking up in that regard. So yes. that's exciting. That's exciting. And, good. Good. That's all I have. Does anybody have any questions for Cindy? So, Cindy, does the new plumbing and hot water heaters, do they work? Have you tried them? Yes, they do. We have hot water in the bathroom. And and the kitchen in the sink in the kitchen? I did not check to see if there was one in the kitchen, but the kitchen hot water has always been fine. At least to me it has anyways, but the next time I'm there, I'll check. Okay. And did you get an invoice yet for them? Not yet. Okay, because I I did receive one, I think, late yesterday or today for it. So, Is there any way that you could forward me a copy, Fred, so I can get uh, it submitted? Yes, I'll, I'll send you. I can forward you the email where they attached it to an email, and you can okay. you can do that. Are Sounds we within good. budget? Fred, are we within budget? Yes, there was the full amount that, that we authorized to begin with. The, okay. the uh, 3000 Six hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Okay. As long as as long as we're on target. Okay. Right. Yes. That's outstanding. All right. Very good. Um. So if there's nothing else about the director's report, we can move on to the status report with um 
uh, electrical improvements. And Fred, you probably want to speak because I did forward to all of you that um, list of nine um, priorities for further electrical work. Did you all get that? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Fred, it's all yours. Right. This First, let me say this is just proposed list of, of stuff that, that could be could be uh, improved or, or implemented. It's not final, and I don't think the trustees have not approved any of these nine items. They're, they put it together just for our discussion purposes, and we need to, before we I guess, act on any of them, we're waiting to hear what the fire chief has to say. We had a meeting with him, like it says here, last Friday. Uh, he was concerned some electrical things that, uh, that may need to be corrected. So uh, that probably would be a higher priority. But the other items are, are stuff that the replacing the bulbs on the, some of the exterior lighting is is what I found was in the energy, the mass save energy audit that was done 2018, uh, recommended these replacement of bulbs. Uh, I don't know if they've been done or not. But there is considerable savings, energy savings in them when you go from 250 down to 50 watt bulbs. So uh I have a question. These are, are you talking about the two pole lights as you're walking straight down the walk? Well, I guess I, I I tried to include all the lights outside. Because those two pole lights weren't replaced that long ago. Nathan did those, I want to say in 20. 19-2020, if those are the two exterior ones as you're walking straight down from the front doors to the sidewalk. Well, I, th I think I think number three is the is the pole pole lights. Were they okay. Replaced? Yeah. Um. I can. Uh, as soon as um as Jim is feeling a little better, I can check with him because um he arranged for those um lights to be changed. I don't remember when, but I think Cindy, you're you're close there. Somewhere, somewhere during COVID, I think we changed those out. The question is, what did we change them to? Um, and so, but but again, as Fred said, this is just a proposed list, okay. and uh, it would be really good if Bob and Jim, um, you know, could weigh in on this. And um, Fred's right. Uh, really, number one, whatever the the fire chief recommends, is where where I think we will need to start. Um, and that, that because we we want to make sure that we are up to code with everything there. We had a very I thought <clears throat> Fred I thought the meeting with the fire chief was very good, um, yes. very instructive, and he's very um, he's very understanding about our situation and how old the library is and how tough it is right. to upgrade things through those unbelievably thick walls. Right. Yes. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, that was a good meeting. Uh, so we we'll have to wait to see his report, and yeah, we don't get it. I guess by next meeting, maybe we can uh, send him a reminder or something. And uh, he he also suggested a, a training for <clears throat> um, our uh, employees in terms of of how to use the fire extinguishers, et cetera, et cetera. He says it's one thing to have them; it's another thing to know how to use them. And apparently, they have some sort of training room where they're going to start a fire and Cindy <laughs> and her crew are going to put it out. Um, right. So I, um, I talked with Cindy just to make sure there was a way to do this. And um, it looks like um, if we have enough lead time, we could do it on a Friday and yes. uh, they would use professional development money to pay for their um, being at that event. Now, Cindy, you asked me about Matt and um, I would assume that he should probably understand all of that as well. Okay. And, um, and I, I, I think that the board would be willing to to pay him if it took three hours for that training. I think it's it's well worth it if our custodial um, person is is involved in that. And um, if 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 you think that well, we 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 don't have to make that decision tonight, but think about that, and then we'll just uh -huh. take a vote. We would take a vote on on paying for Matt through um just professional you know. development. Um okay, all right. I didn't know if we wanted to you know make sure we save professional development for. But oh, it okay. Is well, again, 
Yeah. It's something we can discuss as it gets closer. We'll f we'll figure it out. And if yeah. I had known about the meeting Friday, I certainly would have come over. Right, but you know, as Cindy, as I said to you the other day, there are just times when these meetings occur because the, you know, the fire chief is in town and Fred's available and Bob's available, and since Jim wasn't there, I showed up, um, and it just these they just happen. So, um, and we didn't make any decisions. Right. Because he he just wanted uh, JP wants time to think about the things that he saw and to sort of prioritize them in his own mind and then um, present us with. I think he wants a, a couple more fire extinguishers. I think he's uh, perfectly okay with Bluetooth smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. Um, oh, and Cindy, the one thing um, is we're all concerned with is that you keep track of the boiler's water level. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that that was continually done because we don't want that that reservoir to go dry. Okay, perfect. Okay. That's just yeah. like the furnace we had in my house when I was growing up. Perfect. It works then. Okay. Fred, anything else you want to talk about? Well, just uh, well, just other, other stuff on, on the list. Uh, some of them items, you know, it may end up, well, we don't, I don't think we have enough money left in the electrical contract to cover all of these, it, it, assuming if we wanted to do all of this work, because we only have like $1,450. So if we wanted to, to spend more than that, I'd have to come out of our maintenance budget, I, I would guess. Right. Uh, and the thing maybe once we, after we hear from the fire, fire chief, uh, bring this back to the committee and decide are we, which ones are we serious about and, and ask, I will ask Mark Buseri, uh, the electrician who did the work so far to meet with me and go over these and see what he thinks and, and get an estimate of cost okay. and then bring that back to the board here and, and we'll decide which ones we want to go with. Great. So, so in, a, in the meantime, I, I guess anybody has any more information on like the exterior lights, uh, let me know so we won't right. have to have Mark climb the ladder to get up there to check the bulbs, I guess. I'll, I'll work them. I'll, I'll I'll try to find out, figure out what exactly we did. Right, and and I guess there's there's really no rush. I mean, we have it till the end of this calendar year to spend right. that money. So right. you know, if it takes a couple of months to get all this trained out, I, I guess that's that's fine. That's okay. fine too. Thanks, Fred, for your work on this. Appreciate it. Okay, well, I have a question. I assume that the money. Uh, for whatever the fire chief recommends comes out from that. Was, was that coming out of the electrical budget? Would, would that um, come close to exhausting that? Or does that if, come from some other fund? If if it's electrical related, it would okay. come out of that. If it's like we have to buy some new fire extinguisher or, some, or something, then we'll, ha we'll, we'll pay for it through maintenance or, or um, whatever account Cindy can think um, yeah. we can appropriately use. Okay. Well, that or fires, uh, fire alarms. I think he had, may have comments on a number of fire alarms we have, smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors, whether we needed more or not. Yeah. But we, again, we'll, we'll wait to see what he says and then we can figure from there. Right. Okay. 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 Um, since the maintenance committee, basically the report was that we met with the um, fire chief, we just told you pretty much what it is. Okay, uh, um, how about strategic plan update, Cindy? I am working on reviewing the surveys to come up with my questions that I think are would be um, ones to ask. And then George, Deborah, and I will set up a time to sit down and compile our, and compare notes. How are we on timeline? We're good. We're good? Okay. We're good. Okay. Now you do you have to set up um, a, a meeting a, a community meeting at the outset of this? Didn't we have to do that last time? We did, but that was also pre-COVID. So perhaps we wait until it's mm -hmm. we have maybe we have it in a larger space like the town hall auditorium where mm -hmm. People can be more spread out. Maybe we offer it as a hybrid, or, but then you'd have to be at town hall or town offices. Wait till we can have it outside and people can be spread out outside. I mean, it's, okay. As long as, as long as, when do we actually have to have that report done? 
as long as we have it submitted by the end of October of 2024. Um, <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. Okay. I know, I know. Okay. So keep us keep us posted on that. That would be excellent. Yes. Okay. Um, um, can I ask one quick question about the strategic plan? I've just was reading over the previous strategic plan. And I just wondered, is there a document that shows how many of these recommendations came to pass, uh, which ones were implemented, which ones worked, which ones didn't? I realized that it happened in the splashed in the middle of COVID. So it may, there may be nothing. Yes, I have every year I need to submit an action plan to MBLC in Boston to let them know what we're going to, what our goals are to work on in the coming fiscal year based upon our strategic plan. So what I can do is go into and pull all of those out and get copies of those to you, George. Great. It'd be great if you and could do that. I would love to see those too, Cindy. Thank you. Okay. Great. Great. And again, George, you hit it, you hit the nail right on the head when you said, I mean, because we we launched that and then we had yeah. all these things that we wanted to do. And then we closed the library and closed the town, closed the country, closed the world. Um, well, it looks like a lot of the the recommendations were wonderful and can be repurposed. I think they I think they can. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Anything else on the strategic plan update? Notice that I didn't call it the five year plan. I finally um, left the NEP behind um, <laughs> from the Soviet Union. Okay. And uh, new business budget proposals. Cindy, did you want to just? Um, I know that you gave you gave the budget. Can you just update us on? Uh, you kind of did before. Right. So I, um, in previous years, we were asked to level fund, but um, this year I did not, we weren't asked to do that. But even if we were, um, electricity has increased, Comcast has increased. So I, um, based upon what we've spent in the past and what, Com what we're paying now for Comcast, I increased those. Um, I increased the electrical um, from $5,000 to $5,500 just to reflect that rate increase. I increased or I requested um, an increase of maintenance of $6,500 based upon recommendation of the board and the fact that the building is going to be 73 and a half, 74 years old as we're into the next fiscal year just to make sure we have enough to cover anything that might come up. Our, um, of course, because of the increases, our collection development budget increased from a little over thirteen thousand dollars to a little over fourteen thousand dollars, and, and that then has other to, that has to increase. That has to increase, yes. In order to in maintain, order to maintain our cred, uh, our certification as a public library and to be eligible to receive and participate in the state aid program. Let me ask you a question. Sure. Should they say 7% is too much? Um, do we have any wiggle room place? Would we go to maintenance immediately? I would probably go maintenance or electricity first. Okay. Um, there's really no, unfortunately with Comcast, there's really no wiggle room. That's There's the no wiggle room in, in salaries. There's no wiggle room in Comcast. Some of those- No. Um, Fixed costs. There's just there's no wiggle room. I know there might be a little wiggle room in a couple of the other areas, just based maybe previous year's spending. But again, when it comes time to review, and if that's asked, I will go back and okay. see where I can wiggle. Okay, thanks. Just it's You're always welcome. good. It's always good to have a plan B. Yes. Um, just in case, but do, don't present it that night. Do you know when no, the no, no, budget, no. budget hearings are going to be? I have not heard yet, but I'm figuring February, March at the least. Okay. I'm not um, sure if we're going to be in person or hybrid or. All right. Well, we've been in person the past couple of years. Yes, we have that. Yeah. Um, I just want to, to tell you all that I will be in Europe from the 24th of February through the 3rd of March. So that if those that meeting occurs during that time, you'll have to get another person to come and help you out cindy okay 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 all right and then is there any other new business one other question just uh sure. and so um you've probably already discussed this but i is it true that the 75th anniversary of the library is in 2025 yes it is and are are, are plans 
already in the works for a massive celebration with TJ and the peepers out on the lawn or some, some kind of, you know, that it was such a wonderful event in December, Bob, uh, in the Duda room. Um, and uh, I, I don't know, I'm sure there will be wonderful plans for the 75th, but I can imagine something like that taking place outdoors. Many people would come, particularly if there's music, you know, jugglers, I don't know what else. But anyway, just we should be, if we haven't already been thinking of that, we should think think about it. I think you're absolutely right. I don't believe that there is any plan in the works at this time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we all sort of live meeting to meeting, but yeah, yeah. You're, you're absolutely right. We should, um, since 2025 is, is just 12 months away. Um, I, I put it on my with. list. It's Thank on you, my Andy. list. Okay. That's a great comment. Any other new business? Yeah, the other thing I've been looking at, and I think it came out of our last meeting, I mentioned uh, doing some upgrades possible to the mini split systems we have for heating in a building. And because th if you remember reading the newspapers, there's been articles about rebates from uh, Eversource uh, through Mass Save about upgrades to that and installing new systems. Well, lately, if you read the papers, they're saying, the uh, heating contractors aren't fully aware of what's going on with mini splits. Uh, uh, oil and oil and propane contractors promote promote their products. Electrical promote theirs. So there's, there's no consensus, and mini splits aren't advancing as as fast as the mass save wants them to. Uh, what I found talking to, to a few contractors, one to the rich strong, the one that's been doing our work, says there's there's no benefit to to upgrade the systems we have now that they were aware of. Talking to another heating contractor in Greenfield, they say yes, you can upgrade, but it's replacing what you have, and the cost to replace isn't enough, isn't offset enough by their mass save rebates. I mean, you're talking like thirty to forty thousand to replace everything we have in the building and a mass save will give you ten thousand dollars so so <laughs> there's no real savings that way uh i still haven't forgot about pursuing this through the uh green communities grant i guess i gotta talk further with brian is that we can apply the town can apply for that for a grant to have an energy assessment of the building to see whether it's mini splits or the oil or whatever needs to be upgraded or changed to be more energy efficient. I think we can apply for a grant to study that. And then I think there's also another step applying for a grant to, to implement the improvements if we decide to go along with that. Uh, that's probably two, maybe three years away before we actually see anything being done. Uh, so right now, I, I think that's the best bet we can do unless mass saves changes something considerably about rebates. Uh, I think we're kind of stuck with what we have. Mm -hmm. uh, because we are spending a lot of money on on uh, electricity and and oil, oil heat. I mean, oil. The budget is what two thousand or something for the oil. And if you look at the the electrical cost for what are we up to six thousand for for annual? If you just say half of that is for for air conditioning in the winter, so you're spending three thousand for heating. With the mini splits, and we got two thousand as a backup for oil. Uh, I, I guess uh, I think we need to look at that seriously. Is that what we want? And, and that's where this going to green community should help us. I, I think that's uh, that's uh, the concern I have, and how we need why we need to look at something, some improvements, whatever they are. Okay. So. Okay. Um. Thanks, Fred. That's that's good stuff. Um, I just uh, one other item for new business. <clears throat> Town elections are not that far away, and we have a real problem. And the problem, I believe, is that um, I don't think Fred. I think you're not up for re-election this year. All right. I think Bob is. I think I am. I'm not sure, but I think Jim also is. And both Deborah and George are, which is is that's a huge problem because it was just a, it's this sort of um, it just all happened at once because of the the 
the no election last year. Um, but I would just pray that you found it in your hearts to think about um, the future of the library. And I'll end, it, I'll end it just by saying that I know that everyone has a lot to do and is very busy. I understand that. Um, but if we don't, if we don't have a board of, of six, of five members, sorry, um, six members, uh, we're, we're, it's hard to do this. Okay. So now, uh, um, unfortunately, February 14th would be our next date, but I have uh, a state track championship um, in Boston that day, of course. And of you course. can you can always meet without me. I mean that that's perfectly fine. Someone else can run the meeting, and and you can get that done. Um, is there an alternative to that if you um, don't mind? Does it have to be a Wednesday? Could it be a Thursday? Well, I think that the, for some reason we changed it for Wednesdays was better for Fred and perhaps was better for somebody else back then. Okay. Um, I, I'm I'm happy to put it off till the 21st if you want. Um, I can do the 21st. Want to sure. do? Want to try the 21st? Fine, fine with me. Yeah. Okay. All right. We will try to to do that. Um, and um, I will. Uh, let you know how we make out with that. Okay, um, I think that kind of covers it. And therefore it's time for someone to move to adjourn. I'll move to adjourn. Is there a second? There is, I'll second. And those those in favor, aye. 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 Anyone opposed to adjourning? Okay, no. thank you all for being so flexible with your time. I appreciate it. I know it's it's a lot to ask.